Hello everybody, my name is Przemek Tomczyk. I'm going to present a list of AI applications for scientific writing purposes. The list is an Excel file and having a look at the column A, we can find a comprehensive list. Okay? We have 23 different applications I found in Internet. In column B, we have the links to those applications. The links you can also find in the description of, of this movie. How I assess them? I realized that those applications are usually very useful for review articles. Okay? And the systematic literature review article, for example, consists of six phases. First, we ask the question. Second, we gather the data. Then, we create a database. Then, we do some bibliometrics. Then, we extract the data. And finally, we write a report. Regarding the questions, there are five applications which could help us to find a question for literature review article. Okay? The first is Epsilon, then is Textero, then Mirror thing, then we have Site and, and Consensus up. Of course, it doesn't mean that this order reflects the quality of the application. Okay? The order of the applications reflects the ranking I created in column M. I'm going to describe a bit later. When we have a question, then we need to gather the data. Most of the applications do that. Okay? They actually are looking for the papers in different database, databases in Internet. When we collect the database, when, when we collect the papers, the PDFs, we need to create them, we need to switch them in the form of database. Exactly the same applications actually do that, except can be run, which does not. The fifth step, when we have all the data and the database is created, is bibliometrics analysis. And here is a surprise. None of these applications do that. What does it mean? This means that there are dedicated applications for bibliometrics, like Voice Viewer or even Scopus or Sitespace or Bibexcel. And I think that most of the researchers actually do this in Excel. Then we extract the data and all of the applications do this. Some better, some worse, but this option is absolutely crucial. To extract the, extract the data from the PDFs to be presented in the form of the Excel file, for example, or in the form of doc document. Okay? The next part is to write a report. Actually, all of these applications, or most of these applications, are based on chat GPT engine. Okay? So, these are language models. So, we actually um, want them to create a text for us. Based on the PDFs they found, we can obtain a part of the article we need to create when we use those applications. But it's not all. Please remember that most of the applications are not that good in looking at the data. What does it mean? This means that the articles they find are usually not that good. Okay? So some of the researchers prefer to find PDFs using the old school way in Scopus or Web of Science. Okay? So when you collect your PDF database by yourself, you are deeply interested in using an AI application which allows to upload your PDFs and then to talk with this PDF database. Okay? When you have a look at column I, you realize that most of the applications allow to upload the PDFs. Right? Some of them allow, allow you to discuss with one PDF at a time, for example, perplexity, for example, uh, row number 9, open read, etc., etc. But we are not actually interested in talking with only one PDF. We would like to talk with the whole database. Okay? And there is a set of the applications allowing us to discuss with the whole database. 
For example, you upload 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 and you can talk to this database asking different questions and getting different different answers. In my private opinion, one of the best is Power Drill. Quite nice is Epsilon and Textero. But of course, I, I strongly recommend you to check it by yourselves using those uh, those links you can find in the description of this movie. Okay. Actually, in the end, when you prompt your application for different questions, for different results, then finally you can write a paper. Okay. Only several applications allow this. I strongly recommend you to check it before you collaborate with them. Okay. At the end, I simply summed all of the features and created a very simple rank on them. Right? Based on this rank, Epsilon and Textero are the best because they cover most of the features I mentioned. And the last thing is price. Most of the applications are freemium, which means that there is a piece of time, a piece of questions. You can ask the application for free when you like it and when you continue to collaborate, you need to pay. They are not that expensive, usually between 10 or 10 and 20 euros or dollars per month. Please remember that this list actually does not contain ChatGPT plugins because I'm going to prepare a brand new movie dedicated only to ChatGPT plugins for scientific purposes. Thank you very much and see you soon.